Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Team Dragon Ball will consist of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Frieza, Android 17, Android 18, Majin Blue, Ampers and Broly. Son Goku is a Saiyan center as a baby by his father Bardock to escape the destruction of the planet Vegeta the Saiyan race. Adopted by Grandpa Gohan, he became a kind-hearted boy after he bumped his head, starting his great adventures. Vegeta is the disgraced prince of the Saiyan race, one of the few survivors of his species after Frieza destroyed planet Vegeta. Originally a selfish, arrogant, and ruthless killer with no concern about himself, Vegeta slowly grows into a more heroic figure over the course of his goal to become the strongest fighter in the universe, falling in love with Old Empress and having a son, Trunks, without ever losing sight of his rivalry with Goku. Piccolo is the reincarnation of Demon King Piccolo, born with a simple goal of killing Son Goku Empress and avenging his father at any cost. The wise, expert strategist, he was initially one of Goku's most ruthless enemies, but after training Empress and bonding with his son, Gohan, in preparation for the arrival of the Saiyans, he began to become a better person, eventually joining the Z Fighters as one of their most skilled warriors. Son Gohan is the eldest son of Son Goku Ampers and Kai Kai, Ampers and one of the primary heroes of the second half of Dragon Ball. Although originally introduced as a mild-mannered Ampers and easily scared child, Gohan harbors an immense, limitless potential that surpasses that of his father. However, unlike his father, Gohan dislikes fighting Ampers and harming others, his true power only shows through during moments of intense rage. Frieza is the leader of the Frieza Force, the son of King Cole, who, unopposed, ruled over the majority of the seventh universe for decades. Frieza, fearful of the legendary Super Saiyan, slaughters the Saiyan race Ampers and destroys their home planet, leaving only a few survivors, including the young Prince Vegeta. Majin Buu is an ancient force of destruction that has existed since time immemorial, cycling between periods of Rampage and Ampers and Hibernation. He absorbed the evil elements of races he eradicated during his rampages and percent steadily became more violent and percent evil. Android 17 is one of the red ribbon androids created by Dr. Jero to carry out his vendetta against Son Goku. Whereas the other androids are mostly mechanical, 17 is a cyborg, having been forcibly transformed into their current state by Jero. Android 18 is one of the Red Ribbon Androids created by Dr. Jero to carry out his vendetta against Son Goku. Whereas the other androids are mostly mechanical, 18 is the cyborg, having been forcibly transformed into their current state by Jero. Broly is an elite Saiyan who was born with an extraordinary potential for power. His abnormal power shocked King Vegeta Ampers and he exiled Broly to planet Zampa, fearing that he might one day not only challenge his son for the throne but also become a danger to the universe itself. However, after a long wait of 41 years, Broly was rescued by Chili Ampers and Lemo, who worked for Freeze at that time. Because of his father's wishes to take revenge, Broly was forced to fight Goku Ampers and Vegeta. Super Saiyan God Goku Ampers and Beerus's Flash both shook Ampers and was about to destroy the universe, which is infinite in size Ampers and is composed of several universes including the Stop Space, which is the realm devoid of the concepts of Time Ampers and Space Ampers and exists in between the room of Spirit Ampers and Time the Sugoru Goose Space. It's important to note the wording here, it's between these two dimensions, meaning that it could like Time Ampers and Space Ampers and not contradict the room of Spirit Ampers and Time's Time Dilation. Goku had surpassed that in his base form, making him high infinite multiversal level. Vegeta is rival to Goku, Gohan, Android 18, Ampers and Freeze are all comparable. Piccolo can fight Frost, who Goku needed to per se on in order to fight. After awakening the Grand Supreme Kai's personality Ampers and Memories, who was able to fight Moro, who defeated Super Saiyan Goku Ampers and Vegeta, Android 17 fought evenly with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Broly was able to match Super Saiyan Vegeta, 
who had to turn Super Saiyan God to overpower him. Goku was able to move in a timeline they know had just erased, making him immeasurable, everyone scale. Although he lacks knowledge when it comes to things that aren't related to fighting, Goku is a master of prodigal skill when it comes to martial arts, with years of experience fighting against powerful opponents with a plethora of abilities. Vegeta is a cunning and skill warrior whose refined technique shocked Goku during their first fight, leaving such a lasting impression that Goku wished for him to stay alive so that he could surpass him. Piccolo is an incredibly skilled and experienced fighter, growing further in wisdom and first-hand knowledge after fusing with Nail and then Kami. While Gohan is not as skilled in combat as his father, he is still a highly skilled martial artist and intelligent tactician. Frieza, as the dictatorial ruler of much of Universe 7, is a clever and first-hand crafty commander who kept his iron grip on his territory by terror and first-hand strategic military deployment. Who is childish, oblivious Ampersand has difficulty to grasp even relatively basic concepts, Ampersand prefers to not think too much. Nonetheless, he is an extremely skilled martial artist, being able to copy techniques after seeing them once, keep up with expert fighters Ampersand use his unique body in battle in creative Ampersand unique ways. Android 17 has always been a skilled martial artist Ampersand combatant, capable of holding his own against the likes of Piccolo Ampers and even gaining the upper hand, and his skill Ampers and cunning only grew in the years leading up to the Tournament of Power, as demonstrated by his much greater control over his techniques and his pragmatic style of combat. Android 18 is a skilled combatant Ampers and martial artist capable of holding her own against fighters as skilled as Vegeta. Although Broly lacks knowledge when it comes to subjects that are not related to fighting, he is by no means unintelligent. Broly is an incredibly competent fighter, he learns very quickly as he fights, despite only having partaken in training matches against his father, who is vastly weaker and less skilled than him. Super Saiyan is 50 times base form. Super Saiyan Grade 3 is said to be 10 times Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Grade 4 is 2 times stronger than Super Saiyan Grade 3. Super Saiyan 2 is Super Saiyan Grade 4 times 2. Super Saiyan 3 is Super Saiyan 2 times 4. Super Saiyan God is a boost so large that not even Super Saiyan 3 Vegito from the Boost Saga can compare. Super Saiyan Blue is a Super Saiyan God going Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Blue can be upgraded with Kaioken from 2 to 20 times. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta was able to fight alongside Kaioken times 20 Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Ultimate is a powerful state accessible to someone who has had their latent potential in luck. Piccolo got his from Wish on Shannon. With it, Gohan was able to contend with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Gohan Ampers and Piccolo were also able to fight Gamma 1 Ampers and Gamma 2, who were equipped with the power to compete with Goku Ampers and Vegeta based on data up to a certain point. Golden Freeze is the next step of Freeze's evolution. He can contend with Super Saiyan Blue Goku Ampers and survive an hour long beating from Super Saiyan Ikari Broly. Ikari is an enraged state that allows the user to access the increased strength of the Yuzaru, which is a 10 times boost, but without the full body transformation, instead remaining in humanoid form. With it, Broly was able to fight on par with Super Saiyan Blue. He is also capable of combining it with Super Saiyan. Orange Piccolo is a transformation that is an evolved form of Ultimate Piccolo. With it, he casually one-shot Gamma 2 and fought against Cell Max. Who Gohan says that even Goku and Vegeta will not be able to defeat him. 
I'll try and think, give the user the ability to dodge all attacks automatically without thinking. Goku's true Ultra Instinct is an emotionally driven form of Ultra Instinct as well as an enhanced version of Ultra Instinct unique to Goku. Goku was able to defeat Trunks, who had surpassed his God of Destruction. This state is attained by one who has received a proper God of Destruction training and percent has gained the ability to use the powers of one. Vegeta in this state is equal to Ultra Instinct Goku. It can only be utilized when the user is in the right mindset to act as a destroyer. Like his freezes option form, with it, he kill gas in one attack. One shot it both through Ultra Instinct Goku and first and Ultra Ego Vegeta at the same time. Gohan Beast is an evolved form of Gohan's ultimate state, stemming from Gohan's continued awakening since he was a child, and first and is currently his strongest transformation. Cell Max's fight against Beast Gohan is stated to be the strongest battle in history, putting it above Broly Ampersand Kageta's fight. Goku seeks strong opponents Ampersand therefore will allow his opponents to reach their full power for the sake of a good fight. He often drops his guard Ampersand leaves openings for his opponents whenever he gets distracted, lowering his durability. Vegeta is arrogant, frightful, ampersand if overpowered by someone he considers below him, he can lose his temper. Piccolo's regeneration is stamina based ampersand he can't regenerate if his brain is destroyed. Gohan has an explosive temper that can flare up suddenly ampersand cause him to act irrationally, but besides this, he is typically a pacifist who avoids fighting ampersand dislikes killing opponents. Because of his superiority complex ampersand sadistic streak, Freeze often chooses to prolong his enemies' agony rather than end the battle immediately. Majin Buu's energy can be worn out if he fights another Buu or a copy of himself. In addition, if he is battling against stronger opponents, he may also get psychologically weakened over time. Broly is unable to control his own power. Overall, even with those flaws, Team Dragon Ball is still full of powerful ampers and intelligent fighters. Team Freezy Pass will consist of Sonic.exe, Tail Doll, Slender Man, Jet the Killer, Peachy Toby, Laughing Jack, Parabreen, Ben Drown, Ampersand Red. X is a being created outside of our universe who learned from our world Ampersand Med Sonic the Hedgehog, the character that X would begin to appreciate very much. Thanks to his dark powers, he copied Sonic's appearance and decided to create his own world inspired by Sonic's universe to unlock his toys, which are humans. The tail of Dull is a demonic doll designed in the form of Miles Tail. Power, he's nothing more than a homicidal maniac who seeks to kill anyone who performs the tail of curse. The Slender Man is an internet vulnerable legend and first and enigmatic entity described as a tall, thin figure with a featureless, white face and first and tentacle like appendages. It often is seen working in the background of photos, typically in wooded or dark environments, blocking humans and first and manipulating small children to kidnap them, leaving no trace of their existence behind. Jeffrey Wood was once a normal human child until he encountered Andy his goon. They attempted to mark him his brother you bought Jeff beat them up. The police came by the next day and took you to TV for you. Jeff felt depressed until one day he went to Billy's party. Everything was fine until Randy his goon decided to crash the party while armed with guns and first and knives. After getting into a brutal fight with Randy his friend, Jeff was covered in half the hull and first and bleach and first and he was set on fire. Jeff was sent to the hospital in order to heal. When he finally recovered from his injury, it left him disfigured and first and insane. Later that night he killed both of his parents, his little brother. Tobias Sarin Toby, Rogers was a heavily abused teenager known for his Tourette syndrome, causing his neck to often twitch uncontrollably, causing his peers to give him the nickname T.G. Toby, in order to bully him. After a run-in with Slenderman, Toby started having vivid hallucinations and first and was eventually driven mad by Slenderman's influence, becoming one of Slenderman's proxies. Toby would go on to kill his abusive father and first and kill four more people, never being caught by the police. 
created by a guardian angel, Laughing Jack was at first a jack-in-the-box clown whose personality reflected the personality of his hypothetical owners. He was later sent as a Christmas present to a lonely boy named Isaac Rosen in the 1800s. However, Isaac eventually grew into a cold-hearted serial killer who kidnapped, tortured, and first and eventually killed several innocent residents. So horrified at first, Laughing Jack's personality was soon painted by Isaac's sinister action. One day, Laughing Jack was accidentally released and first and he appeared to be a poor, darker and first and demonic version of himself. Resentful of his traitorous owner, he tortured Ampers and ultimately killed him using the same weapons I used. As time passes, Laughing Jack continues to appear to children, most of them lonely or neglected Ampers and pretending to be their imaginary friends. However, he eventually tortures Ampers and kills them for no reason other than the simple fact that he hates kids Ampers and wants to see them suffer. Ben Brown is a paranormal entity haunting a game cartridge of The Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask Ampers and is bent on killing the player. It is made apparent that the entity in the cartridge is Ben Brown as a young child. Parabreen is an entity that is believed to be not a dead brother somehow embedded into the Minecraft world Ampers and started to haunt players who encounter him with notch claiming that he never had a brother. Red is a demonic presence that seems to possess Ampers and control a second-hand copy of the 1988 Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge Godzilla, Monster of Monsters, Ampers and seems to have played a great role in causing a great tragedy in the past of the protagonist named Zack. Sonic.exe creates a several worlds in his nightmare dimension Ampers and has the power to control everything they in. He is capable of merging his dimension with a human one if given the opportunity. He was born in the states outside the universes, called the Void. The Void exists beyond the physical universe of the real world. His true form is considered his weakest form, making him high infinite multiverse level. Tail of Dog can overpower kill humans, making him street level. Slender Man is fated to transcend linear time and percent poses as a threat to the entire multiverse and percent embodies an unknown multiverse of infinite timelines, making him high infinite multiverse level. Jeff managed to punch and trade blows with Slenderman. As a proxy of Slenderman, Toby should be vastly superior to that object due to having a small portion of his power with him. Laughing Jack ripped a man's insides open, nailed a child to the wall and first and kept him alive to be tortured, making him street level. Ben was omnipresent within the Major's Mask game. Major was able for the entirety of Terminus, which in the same source states that Terminus is a parallel universe, making him special universal level. Parabreen is able to work multiple Minecraft worlds throughout his travels to haunt the players of the Minecraft community, which includes two time spaces and first and one of them is an infinite world as a dream, making him special universal level. Red was left shattered across the universe after his battle with Solomon. His appearance in the creepy past was just but one of his avatars. His appearance in Colossal Kaiju Combat is also canon to the creepy past story. Being another avatar of the original Red, this version of Red is capable of matching with other monsters, who are capable of causing the Big Bang, sustaining the universe's existence, and percent continuing said universe's existence. The universe contains multiple timelines and percent dimensions, so to what extent of this is unknown, making him low multiversal level. X came into existence and first and has the capability to travel through the void that exists between dimensions. It is important to acknowledge that the void is a realm without any space, time, mass, or charge. It exists beyond the confines of the physical universe as a whole, making him immeasurable. Tails Dull can outrun humans, making him athletic human. Slender exists beyond linear space and first and causality existing as a sort of embodiment of singular probability. He uses higher dimensional space to traverse the world, with his movements often being confused or likened to teleportation when described, making him immeasurable. Jeff can fight Slenderman, so he should be faster than Jeff. Laughing Jack can attack humans without being able to react and percent dodge an attack from the mother of James, making him athletic human. Ben is likely a Bob Link, who fought defeated Ganon, who's capable of reacting to light arrows, which are from the essence of the Triforce which restores the sacred realm in 3 seconds, making him massively faster than Light Plus. 
Every is comparable to both Oracle and Percent Entity 303, the latter of which was able to reach the far ends of the universe. Every can also traverse servers with sheer speed, of which are infinite, making him infinite. Red a team up with monsters who could cross planets and percent galaxies in a short span of time, making him massively faster than light plus. Even though Sonic.exe he has a psychopathic nature, he was able to develop a disc that could break the gap between the void real world, by solely manipulating the mind of a human being. This could possibly grant him complete knowledge of the real world, as he was capable of observing the Sonic franchise from the void. Slender Man takes it to know everything about the past, present, and percent future. Jeff will swap his opponents, meticulously studying them. He will try to see how they operate, how they think, and percent how he can potentially exploit that. In a straight-up fight, it depends on the distance. So he can craft weapons and percent other tools from scratch, can overpower bone and with just both and percent planning, has a massive amount of survival skills and percent combat experience gain from becoming a proxy. Laughing Jack is skilled in human anatomy, able to perform live autopsies on humans and percent remove several organs while still keeping them alive, a skill killer, trick James, mother into killing James herself. Then is a super genius hacker. Parabreen has the intelligence of Entity 303, who is knowledgeable in hacking and percent technology. Red was able to manipulate a multitude of characters and percent almost one, until bullets basically stopped him. True.exe is X's most powerful force. His powers can twist and percent corrupt the very fabric of reality. He often has the dark pixelated aura around him that distorts reality close to him. In this form, Red surpassed himself in power tenfold, gaining more health bar than percent enough power to effectively one-shot any being in any S. Double except Solomon and percent bullets. He has complete control over his universe and percent before bullets is set in. Red was planning on destroying the universe and percent leaving it empty. His true form is heavily in flight exists widely across Zachary's real world and percent colossal kaiju combat. X is pretty sadistic and percent often loves to play around with his victims unless they are of a great threat. X's ability to manipulate the minds of humans is limited to those with sufficient levels of evil in their hearts. X's reality warping powers are limited and outside of his own universe, but can be bypassed if he gains a physical form. If his physical body is destroyed, he will need to wait for him to return to our world. If all the Sonic X discs are destroyed, he will die for good. If Tails does gem is cut off, he becomes inactive. He is made of fluff. He needs someone to do the Tails out first before they can kill them. He can't hide in the dark because of its glowing gem, and percent can't punch or hit enemies due to being made of fluff. If every human being on Earth fails to believe in Slenderman, he cannot return to life and percent is rendered weak. He enjoys torture rather than instant death and percent allows enemies to openly defy him, although puts his top to them if he perceives obvious threat. His weak spot is his face, just psychotic nature, prone to self-mutilation, for all intents and percent purposes is just a skilled human being. So he has a bad case of this, that in for his post and percent intelligence, is mentally unstable. Laughing Jack has barely any combat experience. In addition, he is a sadist to the core, preferring to let his opponents live for the longest to torture them just to have fun, without Nator's mask. Then is severely lessened. While Red is a powerful entity, Red clearly has issues with his sadistic side. He will often waste time torturing enemies he particularly dislikes. Additionally, he will close make menacing faces to scare people often rather than actually fighting, so a fear immune enemy has a major advantage. Finally, Red seems to have no extremely long range attacks. He requires energy to deliver his more powerful attacks, 
typically flows through energy than show the death of his first opponent, meaning he is much heavier against one opponent than shown here, but much weaker against the group attacking at different times. Overall, even with those flaws, Team 3 defense is still proven to be very powerful monster than first and demon right to fear. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. This is surprisingly a pretty close battle, with both teams having similar stats. So who is the winner? Let's find out. Team Dragon Ball does have more characters that are 5th dimensional, while most of the characters in Team Creepy Pasta don't. Heck, some of them don't even hit planet level. Not only that, Team Dragon Ball has characters that surpass 5D literally billions of times over. Team Dragon Ball's biggest challenger is going to be Sonic.exe due to him being considered omnipotent in his world and his overwhelming abilities that Team Dragon Ball isn't familiar with. Does Team Dragon Ball have a chance of winning? I'm going to say yes because of the fact that they are far more skilled fighters. Not only that, they possess the evil containment wave ability, so they could win via battlefield removal. There's also the fact that X is more limited outside his world. The reason why Freeze lost X was because he didn't have any abilities that could help him stand a chance. In this fight, Freeze is alone and first and he's with those who have a chance at winning through battlefield removal. So in conclusion, Team Dragon Ball wins due to being more skilled and first and having certain powers that allow them to win without killing. Time. Your new technique requires you to inflict damage first, right? I won't make the same mistake twice. Rainbow of darkness, the darkness ends. Now begin the night that never ends.